All right, everybody, I'm going to show you an awesome way to download any of the latest Mac OS's, uh, Big Sur, Catalina, Mojave, High Sierra. Greg Nagel has written this awesome script. We're going to go download it. So open up Safari, type in install, install, and I'm going to click on this one right here. The link for this GitHub page is down in the description. But if you just want to type it, here it is. And then we're just going to click on code. And we're going to click download zip. And let's get rid of this. We're going to click to open that. It's this script right here that we want. And now I need to open up the terminal. So I am going to command spacebar, type in terminal return command plus to blow this guy up so you guys can see what's going on and I'm just gonna drag this on there as is I'm gonna run it it's gonna pull a list of the available production level Mac OS's not including Big Sur betas I'm gonna show you that right after this so let me just run this oh I gotta do sudo So now it's gathering all the catalog in information. It's going to tell us which OS's are available. There's a ton of them. I can go download Big Sur, Catalina, different versions of it, High Sierra, Mojave. I actually want to download the Big Sur beta. So I'm going to do Control Z and exit out. I'm going to arrow up and I am going to type in seed program developer seed run this and it's going to grab me a different list i want this big sur beta 11.1 beta or select three hit return and it's going to start downloading this does take a while so i will speed through the video to the end of this All right, so now we've got this file created right here. I can just copy, open. All right, so now we've got it right here. I can double click on that, and you're gonna see that I have the .app install for Big Sur. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ways we can install this. So if I were to just double click this right now and run through this installer, it would install Big Sur Beta on this system, leaving my files intact and not wiping the drive. But if I didn't want to do it that way and I wanted to wipe the drive, I could reboot into recovery partition and run it that way, or I could drag this onto the terminal window come down here go like this and hit tab oops resources do start os install dash dash erase install and agree to license and boom if I were to hit that right now, it would wipe this drive and reinstall Big Sur onto it, the beta. Um, what I want to do actually is I want to turn this USB drive into a bootable Big Sur beta drive so that I can install Big Sur beta on any device with that USB drive. So I'm going to actually just go back like this okay so big sur just open i'm going to quit out of this and we're actually going to do 
create install media and dash dash volume oh. and then slash volumes USB drive and this will wipe that drive oops I need to run it as admin so the two exclamation marks allow me to run the previous command with sudo elevated privileges so you normally would want to put the sudo before uh, so I can just go like that and then it's gonna ask me let me know it's gonna wipe the drive I want to say yes All right, so it looks like the drive was created. All right, so now that I've got my bootable Big Sur USB stick, I can either bring this over to another device, drag the installer off to another device and install it on another device, or I can just boot an Intel Mac or one of the new Apple Silicon Macs off of this Big Sur Beta USB drive. To do that, check out this video below or go check out this other video on how to make sure that your uh, applications are going to be set for Big Sur because um, you definitely want to make sure they're going to be compatible. All right, so make sure to get subscribed, throw a thumbs up if you like the video, and you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.